YouTube. Thank you so much for stopping on this video. It's your girl, Shanette, and I have a conspiracy theory video for you today. Now, I've been working on this video for a few days just so I can make the message come clear and through so you can understand it. Um, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and a like if you like this video. And if you don't, go ahead and give it a thumbs up anyways. I want to send out a special hello, hello, hello to all of my reviewers and my question for today for this video is do you believe that the bible abraham 400 year prophecy has been fulfilled or do you think that the 400 year prophecy is being fulfilled in real time i would explain further let's get into it but first i need you to pay attention you know we just we just trying to deliver a message to the world, you know what I'm saying? Because it's a lot of blind people right now, and I feel like the world just need to pay attention to what's going on. So talk to the real Miss Barbara. that being at Alaska. Come on now, since when we ever had that type of weather, God did it, showing us that it's time to settle. They say they hearing trumpet sounds coming from the sky. They say it's coming from space. Really? Come on now. One. Uh, but anyway, let me play one of these for you. People don't want to accept the fact that God is real. Don't let it be too late when you know that God real. You notice it's only the older people that's in church. The young people ain't trying to hear what they saying in church. They want to hear what the rappers saying in their verse. The rappers bad influence. Why you think it's getting worse? The government spreading diseases. Want to get us sick. Treating humans like frogs. Want to experiment. The only thing I'm trying to say is open your eyes and get right. Because Jesus is coming at any time. Believe that, ain't hey. Make me think about a whole lot. Would have been right there. Why the hard bullet could have hit me right there? You get security, a twenty dollar bill, and they'll let you in the club with your steel. See how evil money is? All this behind that paper. You supposed to make the money, not let the money make you. When you telling the truth, a lot of people can't face it. You. you ain't gotta be rich, a little fame will make them hate you. And they ain't even right. Everybody grab pistols when it's time for them to fight. Prove what them hands like. This world getting dead. I ain't a gospel rapper. I'm just saying what's supposed to really be said. Baby soldier, ain't you? Baby soldier. All right, 
right, guys. Yeah, yeah, I know what you're thinking. I may be reaching a little bit, but let's get into it a little bit further. Do you guys remember the um, Super Blood Wolf Moon that took place in January 19th last month? Now, it could seem, be seen for some places here in the United States. You could see the red Super Blood Wolf Moon, and it was beautiful. But when I looked to the scriptures, the scriptures said that the Father would send us warnings, you know, in the heavens and in the stars and the moons. And it just made me think a little bit further. And I just, and I thought about, we had that major eclipse that went across the United States. Do you guys remember? It was August 21st, 2017, when the first eclipse crossed over America. And then, guys, it's supposed to be another eclipse that's going to cross over America. On April 18, 2024, there's going to be a second eclipse that's going to cross over America, making pretty much a pattern of an X. Now, I wonder what this means, but that takes me back to the scriptures of the 400 years of oppression that was brought upon Abraham's family. And we're going to go to Gen um, Genesis, Genesis 15, 13. And it speaks about the 400 year prophecy that his people will be held in captivity. Now, most people think this is a story dealing with, you know, the Jew, the Jews and Jewish people in Egypt being in bondage. But when you do the map, it doesn't quite add up. I don't know if you guys remember the story about Joseph from the Bible and basically how he depict dreams and he became the ruler of Egypt because he told Pharaoh what was to come. And when Joseph brought his people to Egypt, the oppression didn't start. If it started, it didn't start to after Joseph was dead. And Joseph lived for a long many years. He lived to be, if I'm not mistaken, 110 years old. So the time doesn't quite add up to 400. It'll be slightly under 400, 300 and some odd years. It's not quite 400. But the main reason why I'm bringing observation to this, guys, is that we as African Americans, and if you're not an African American, it just, you know, you can still tune in and just get a little bit of information. Tell me what you think. That we have been in this country for 400 years. We have been oppressed in America for 400 years. Now, thinking back to this bill, this HR 1242 bill, which is acknowledging that African Americans have been in this country for 400 years, which in two makes me believe that that's almost the promise, the prophecy being fulfilled. It's basically in agreements saying that we are the chosen people of God, Yahusha, Yahweh, Jesus Christ, Heavenly Father, Buddha, Allah, whatever you want to call them, we are his people. Now, I know most people are going to be like, okay, you're going a little bit out there, guys. But I'm telling you, it just when you just think about it and you read the scriptures like I do, these stories, they remind you and they start to become into fruition into your everyday world and your everyday life. And you start to see things resemble things in the Bible. Now, as I told you before, there was once a total eclipse across America on August 21st of 2017 and there's expected to be another eclipse through America on April 18, 2024 which is going to make a X over America. Now this put me in the mind of a scripture that was in the Bible that was talking about you know the the Virgo which is um which is talking about Revelations 12 and uh, 12 and 1 I believe but I might be off guys because I don't have my notes before me but it talks about the Virgo which is like the Virgin and the Leo being at the head 
Matter of fact, you can take a look at this picture here, the astrological sign of it. Now, this formation took place two days after August 21st, 2017, which is the first eclipse that passed over America. So on August 23rd, there was a perfect alignment. Oh, excuse me, it might have been August, I'm sorry. September 23rd, it was a perfect alignment of Virgo laying in the heavens, Leo being at her head with the 12 crowns, the sun at her shoulder, and and the other portion shows right here at her feet. So through this emission through revelation, it basically said is when Jesus will be coming back. You know, the Messiah, Christ, the one that died for our sins. That he will be coming back and he will be basically taking the bride of Christ and he's gonna you know fulfill his the he's gonna fulfill the Lord's prophecy. And it's nothing bad. It says that the people being that we've been afflicted, that, you know, we're going to inherit this land. Now, I don't know how true that would be. And I don't think most people will, you know, like the sound of that. Or they could debunk this. But I just wanted to bring, you know, bring it to you about, you know, what I'm getting of the message of the things I'm seeing with the climate change, with the stars, with the signs of the moon. In these eclipses, and I'm just kind of putting it together in my head. Now, most people may say, you know, eclipses happen all the time, even super blood wolf moons or blood moon eclipses or blood moons, they just happen all the time. And I do understand, guys, but it's also a story in the Bible that spoke of people seeing a blood moon eclipse. And they saw it a little bit more as a warning. Of course you would see it as a warning back then because we didn't have all the advancements that we have now. So yes, if you see the moon turn to blood red, I would definitely think there's something big and major coming. So basically what I'm referring to is the story about Jonah of the Bible. And if most of you guys don't remember the story about Jonah, as you know, I'm talking, I showed a clip in the back and I'm also maybe, I don't know, let you guys listen to it a little bit. But basically Jonah was given a message from, from the Heavenly Father that he need to go to the city of Nivea and to warn the people to change their ways and to repent or that he was going to bring upon them destruction. Now, Jonah didn't want to do this. Because the people of Nivea was seen to be their enemies. And Jonah didn't want to be the bearer of bad news. So he fled from God. He ran away from what God told him to do. And if you want to read along about the story about Jonah, that's you can find that in the book of Matthew 16.4. And basically, Jonah, he ran away. He was on a ship. And the ship, it was a storm brewing around the ship in the seas. And all of a sudden, Jonah was asleep. And the people in the boat said they needed him to wake up and to pray to his God. Because it's a terrible storm and they surely was going to all die. When Jonah awoke and, and he told them, y'all throw me off the boat for I have disobeyed my, my God. He told me to deliver a message and I chose to run away. And that's a little bit how I feel about giving this message to you guys. I know most people is not going to take it in. I know most people are going to say, you know, that's just pretty much hearsay and that's just a superstition and that these different prophecies are supposed to happen, you know, so many times throughout throughout times, you know, with different, you know, people prophesizing about what's going to happen. But I just want to bring it to you guys' attention and just see, are you paying attention? Are you seeing the, you know, the signs? Are you paying attention to the signs? And what are your thoughts about what's going on in the climate about what's going on here in America? Do you believe that this HR 42 bill is going to tell us as African Americans who we really are, that we are possibly, you know, the lost tribe of, of, of God? I know we definitely you know, they come here in our free will. Do you think that there's going to be any reparations that is given to our peoples? Because far as the biblically, 
it says that the people will inherit the earth the earth his people will inherit the earth and we have great riches that would come out the same place that have kept them in captivity y'all leave me your thoughts in the comment section and i thank you so much for watching this entire video i know it's far out there with the, what it's thinking and with the thought process but i do thank you for bearing with me and just let me know if you like these type of videos i will keep them coming to you if not at least you got the message and if you didn't get the message, hopefully you got the meat so you can spit out the bones and keep it moving. Okay, as always, the Heavenly Father loves you and so do I. Bye.